Hey everyone, Shaber1000 here. Today we got this Cuisinart uh, coffee maker. I think it's the 1200. Um, anyway, <clears throat> it just stopped making coffee. You can hear it trying to do something. It's getting hot, but it's not. Uh, it's not putting coffee and bringing it down. So I think there's a clog in it. We have hard water. When you have hard water. You know, you, sh you should clean these out with vinegar like once a month. But, you know, things like this, these kind of appliances, they get neglected. I mean, you know, you wipe them down and you make your next pot of coffee. And you don't realize it, you know, until, well, they're not working. So, I'm going to try to get this lighting issue straightened out here. And we're going to, I think... This comes apart at the bottom. I've never had one of these apart. I've had many coffee makers apart, but never one of these. So that's what we're going to do, and we're going to try to get it cleaned out and see if we can get it working again. So stick around. Let's see what's happening. Okay, guys. So... Our other light quit working. It's a selfie light. We got it at Walmart, and uh, well, the the head kind of came off of it and kept falling off. So I went to use it today, and now it won't even light up. But as you can see, this is this is all from hard water. All that stuff there, that's all from hard water. Um, I've checked everything up on top here that needs to be checked. I got the filter over there soaking in vinegar um, but everything's running through like from here down so it's not coming out of here so my guess is we've got to take the bottom off I don't see any screws there might be two under here Let's see if we can get this off first. I'm going to use my little, my little tool here. I love this little thing. It was sent to me by a company. Got a little light on it. So first, let's see here. Let's let's take these little rubber things out of here. I believe there'll probably be screws underneath that, underneath these rubber things, or plastic or whatever they are. This is not going to get it. I'm kind of having a hard time seeing here. Um, hang on a second, guys. Let me get you situated better. Okay. Um, it's about the best angle I can get. Uh, this is what I'm talking about right here. These little plugs. Let's see. Got a couple picks here and a little tiny screwdriver. Usually when you see these, they're covering up screws. Because you would think this would come off without having to take the bottom off. I don't want to have to go through the bottom if I don't have to. Yeah, they're moving up and down. My guess is this screws on to here and this can come out but so let me see well okay well, there's some screws down here in the bottom looks like Torx no, and I don't know if I'm going to have one long enough to go down in there. Yeah. 
There we go. Spider in there. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that's baby widow. Hang on, I gotta get rid of that thing. Okay, you got rid of him. I ain't messing around with spiders like that in the house. I'm guessing these tubes are clogged. So, take this over here and get it washed off. That would be my guess. So I don't know if I can get, like I said, the top apparently comes off them plugs. This is what Little bit of rust on them. Okay, this just popped off something. Okay, I can't blow through it. Seems to be clogged. Okay. Try to get this off of here. Okay, let me get these hoses off of here and we'll go from there. Okay, I couldn't get them hoses off there. I don't want to damage them. I don't know if they're glued on or what. But I'm going to get these plugs out of here by screwing a screw down in it. You know. There it is. And that's what I did with the other one. But I can blow through it now. Before I could suck through the hose and I could get air, but I couldn't blow through it. So now, I mean, that, I, I could have, you know, maybe got it unclogged just doing that. see any screws down in there I'd like to get this off so I can soak it in vinegar but I'm not sure okay so it's the back it's all one piece sounds like it's clear I'm gonna put this back on here I'm gonna put some water in it. I gotta get my needle nose pliers. Make sure I didn't damage that. Make sure it's not gonna leak. And then we'll plug it in. And if it works, we'll put some, uh, the vinegar she had in here, we'll put it back in here. There's just a little tube down in here. If this goes on, I know you guys can't see it because I can't see it. Alright, now I gotta get my needle nose and get that. Okay, yeah, it's on there. And get that clamp. It's just one of these. I gotta squeeze it together and push it down on. Put some water in here, make sure it don't leak. I hope it don't. I hope I didn't damage that. We'll see. Okay, I put some water in it. It didn't leak, but I thought I seen a hole in one of them hoses because I tried to use that little screwdriver here kind of pry around in case there was any glue to punch through uh, there wasn't any water leaking out but let's see what happens with hot water and we'll leave the base the bottom off for now and we're going to see if this thing's going to work or not I'm going to put these back in if it works without leaking then I'll put the bottom back on because only those four screws, so. But I believe 
just had a clog in it. Then I'll have her do a thorough cleaning on it once we fix it and get all this, uh, what's it called, calcium off of here from the hard water. All right. Now we're going to go over here. We're going to fill it up, make sure there's no leaks. We'll turn it on, see if it works. There's the nastiness that came out of the filter, which is this right here. Probably about due for another one, but let's go ahead. We'll fill this up. clear up you would think with all this technology they'd have a easier way to fill a damn coffee pot up you know right. make sure it's off you can set this up to uh, it's programmable all right there it's on it, I mean, it would make gurgling noises, but it wouldn't, uh, just wouldn't put the coffee through, so. Let's put it on high. God, it's making noises. Hopefully we got the clog out. I seen it start dripping. Okay, let's give it a couple minutes. Nope, not yet. We didn't get the clog, so it's a good thing I didn't put the bottom back on. So we're gonna dump this out into this pan and I'll meet you back over on the counter. Actually, we're just going to stay right here. I'm going to try to run a piece of this real thin wire through there. Um, see what that does. Might need, need to find a heavier piece. but Just see if it brings out anything. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to sit here it's blown through pretty clear now it wasn't when I first took that hose off there yeah see it's getting up in there so this is what I'm going to do I'm just going to keep trying to clean this out I would say there's a bunch of calcium build up in there. This is only going so far and stopping. And I know it's up in to there, so alright, that's what I'm gonna do. Might get a stiffer piece of wire, get it shoved up through there, and I'll be back with you. Here we go. Come on. I'm going to keep clearing that out. I think that vinegar really, really helped. I also used this old brake cable off of a bicycle. Yeah, okay. I'm going to keep clearing it out. 
Oh yeah. Oops. It's all over here. All right. I'm going to clear that out some more. Yeah. I don't know if you guys are seeing that or not. Let's bend this over and Oh yeah. Okay. I'm gonna clear this out. I'm gonna put these hoses back on and we'll try the vinegar trick again. Okay, I gotta fill back up. Plug it in. On. On. Okay, that's weird. That's working. Oh, great. We made it worse. Um, Alright. <laughs> Let me check it again. I don't know how many of you guys caught that, but I think I was plugging the toaster in. And I was. All right, let me get this filled back up. Jesus. <laughs> All right, now close this up. It's on. As long as it don't leak, now we're good. So it's got low, medium, high. It's doing something. Seen a drip. <laughs> okay, let's let it do its thing for a minute. All right, so I managed to get one of the hose off, hoses off without damaging it. Right in there, a big hunk of whatever calcium dirt. It's not rust because that's aluminum. So. I'm just going to keep picking at that until I can get something to go all the way up around through there because it feels like it's right up in this area here. So I'm going to keep messing with it. I just wanted to let you know or show you what, what I came up with. And that's what the problem is. Let me keep working on it. All right, here we go again. Sorry about the air, but really hot. stuff down in the bottom of that thing. Alright, make sure we got the right cord this time. Uh-oh. Made it worse. Alright. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Shouldn't take very long. Okay, it's starting. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see this. I'm sure you can hear it. slowed down but I'm gonna let it run a little bit see what happens I might not have got it gotten it all but we're getting there so all right let's let it run a little bit okay it's working 
So I'm going to let it go ahead and go through this. And then I'll do another clean vinegar rinse. And then I'll run just hot water through it. So seems to be doing all right now. So cool. Then I'll kick you back on and let you know if it worked. Okay, guys. So I ran it through again. Then I filled it up with another thing of vinegar and I ran it through again look at that guys this is what you're ingesting if you don't keep your stuff clean man so now I'm going to run some regular water through it maybe twice but it seems to be doing good but after we do all that I'm going to put the bottom back on and uh Maybe make them a pot of coffee. I don't know. Got to try it out, right? I don't drink coffee, so I don't know. But I know. That should be clear. So let me run some water through it. And um, we'll see what it looks like after I do that. Now this is water. So I'm going to dump the water in there. And we'll see what it looks like when it comes out. Man, that's thing, this thing's running really fast. But it's getting better, so I'm just going to keep running it through until it comes out clear. Okay, let's see how this one looks. Oh yeah, much better. Oh, sorry. Sorry about the thunder in the background. Much better. I think I'm going to run one more uh, thing of water through it. And then I'll make them some coffee. Okay, guys. I'm going to put it back together now. been out here monkey there was a baby widow on here really yeah Ooh. there it is Now let's put these back in here. And that'll work. Cool. Now I think we're going to make a pot of coffee. I won't bring you in for that. So there it is. Um, if you have a little bit of know how, you can do this yourself those hoses you can buy online uh, they're like five bucks on Amazon you can get a whole roll for like eight dollars so they're real cheap uh, this one has a check valve in it same thing you can get four check valves for like four or five dollars so um, yeah it's ready to rock and roll so thanks for watching guys appreciate it Shea Bear the myth the man legend gone for now we'll see you guys in the next one bye bye and take care Alright, Monkey's going to try a cup, see if it tastes any different. It's got to. 11 minutes, 28 seconds to brew 12 cups. It's pretty hot. Look at that. It's steaming hot. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Big difference? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why do you watch the video and see how much of that stuff I took out of there? I'm afraid to. <laughs> well, I forgot the filters. Forgot there was filters for the thing. And then I was cleaning out the cover one day and threw the filters out. Didn't even realize what they were. I thought they came from mom's house. So we got hard water, so we're going to yeah. have to do that once a month. Yeah. And get those filters and change the filter once a month. Yeah. Till yeah. We, at least until we can we get our water softener. Yeah. We're whole house filled or I haven't decided what I'm going to put in yet. Yeah. We're going to get that done. But, um, that way. I know. But anyway, so, and then three to four times a year. Because mm -hmm. you know well water. Yeah, I know. All right. There you go, Monk. Thank you, babe. Bye. Bye, y'all.